Hey everyone, today we're going to be building a hobbit hole and we have a very special guest for this video, Gollum. A hobbit hole? You said we was going to be redoing my cave. Well, I, I didn't think you'd come if you knew we were doing a hobbit hole. I mean... You're so sneaky, just like those hobbitses. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. But anyways, here are all the materials we're going to be using, and there's really no dimensions because we're digging into the side of a hill. Let's, let's get going. So here's the hill that we decided to use, and I've obviously already dug out the front to make it flat. Now, you're also going to want to find a hill that has a nice slope on the side because we're going to be adding an entrance over here as well. That's a stupid idea. You only need one entrance. Listen, this this isn't your cave. Your cave has one entrance, I get it. But this is a hobbit hole. We can have as many entrances as we want. Yes, I like it. Two entrances is fun. You shut up. He's trying to trick us just like those hobbits. No, he's our friend. Guys, guys, it, it's okay. I, I'm your friend. I'm not your friend. I get it. But let's just get on with the tutorial. So as you guys can see, I went over and I dug out a spot that's going to be our doorway. And then on the left and right side, I dug out an area of seven blocks, which gives us a total area of 15 blocks long. Once we're done clearing out this main area, you're going to have a dimension of a 12 by 15 room. Now on the back wall in the very middle, we're going to dig out an entrance that's going to be five blocks long. After this, we can go ahead and dig out our final room in the back, which will be a nine by seven block area. This looks stupid. It's just dirt and grass. Well, yeah, you didn't let me get to the walls of the floor. We haven't even put them in yet. Well, hurry it up. This is Boring. Hurry up! You, you spent over a thousand years in a cave alone with a ring as your best friend. How can this be boring? You, you know what? Never mind. We're just going to move on. Now, the walls are going to be smooth sandstone and the floors are going to be spruce plank. We're going to go ahead and work on the ceiling a little bit later in this video. <laughs> boring. I what? Now that everything is dug out, we can go ahead and work on the front part of our hobbit hole. Hobbit hole, hobbit hole, always a hobbit hole. This is stupid. Yes, I know you think it's stupid, but you're here now, so can we just please watch this part in silence? I'm begging you. Fine, but I still hate it. Now you can go ahead and work on the front part, it'll be so fun. What are you doing? Don't help him out, we're building a stinking hobbit hole. Hey, thanks a lot, I really appreciate that. You know, I could use a break every once in a while. This is a, this is a pretty tough job. Tough job? You play video games and then record it. I had to take two stupid hobbits all the way to murder. Yeah, but you did try to kill him every chance you got. That's not true, and you can't prove it. Okay, um, agree to disagree. Uh, why don't we just watch this part of the tutorial?
There you go, the front is entirely complete. Now, let's go onto the left and right side over here and add some more dirt so it feels like it's dug back into the hill just a little bit better. Okay, now we can go ahead and work on the fence that's gonna keep our hobbit holes safe from people like Gollum over here. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you did bite off a guy's finger once, so... That was an accident. I was trying to get a bug off of his finger. Right. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Anyways, the reason that we're placing leaves here underneath our fence is because we want it to look like there's shrubbery or grass growing off of the bottom of it. It gives it a nice little texture, I feel like, and I'm probably going to use this in future builds. Now we can start working on the inside of the fence. The first thing that we're gonna build is a cart that you can deliver all the things that you're growing in your garden like these pumpkins that we're gonna have over here. Oh, pumpkins are disgusting, we hate them. Let me guess, you'd rather have raw fish. Yes, fish, fish is our favorite. Well, I don't need to eat the rest of the day, dang it. After we're done with our cart here, we're going to go ahead and move on to the actual garden itself. Now you can do this garden however you like, but make sure you put a couple pumpkins in there or otherwise the cart won't make any sense. Hey Gollum, um, I'm just curious, when you lived in a hobbit hole, how did you plant your food? Hobbit hole? Gollum never lived in no stinking hobbit hole. Whoa, touchy subject. <laughs> My bad. You're cheating! The food is growing too fast, you're using magic! No, 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 no magic. Just, uh, I up the random tick speed so people can see what the food looks like as it's growing. That's it. And now you've taken a speed potion, I know it's your cheats! Nope, no, no, just, uh, made the video go faster so this doesn't take forever. Just more editing. Finally done with the stinking outside, it's too bright. That's the sun, and honestly, you could use a little bit more of it. You're looking a little pale, but you are correct. We are moving on to the inside. Now, the reason I'm placing down these regular lanterns is so we have some light left over when we take down the sea lanterns from the ceiling. Here we're going to add some walls and entrances to the three rooms of our hobbit hole. Three rooms? Hobbit holes are so small! Yes, we get it. You lived in a giant cave. But that was actually still just a hole in the side of a bigger hill. What are you trying to say? Nope, nothing. Nothing. Just uh, some similarities there. <laughs> That's all. 
from oh no dudes shut up shut up shut up okay okay i i meant nothing by it why, why don't we all just be quiet for a little bit and just enjoy the build Now for our ceiling, I wanted to add a little depth, but keep it curved so we have that natural feeling that a hobbit hole has. You sounds really hard to be quiet. Yeah, I, I know, but I still have to do the tutorial. I mean, I have to let them know what we're doing and my ideas behind it. I mean, no, you're a snook just like those hobbits. You was never a friend. No, 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 we, we are friends. Uh, I promise I won't tell you to not talk anymore, okay? Fine, but I still think you're a snooks. Huh. Yeah, I think I can live with that. How many ceilings are there? This is going to take forever. Well, I mean, there's four ceilings, so we need to do it four times. Can't still do it after watching it once. Well, yeah, I mean, the people that watched the first one, but some people click later in the video and they need to know how to do it. Why don't they just watch the whole video? Uh, that's a good question. Um, some people don't have time. Some people don't like to build. And I mean, some people, unfortunately, probably just think it's boring. It's probably because we're building a habit hole. We should have done my cave. And we're back to this again. Please tell me that this is the last one. Yes, this is the last ceiling we have to do in the entire build. Are you happy? I loved building the ceilings. This was fun. I'll hurt you. So we're not doing lanterns on the ceiling because we have a different plan for those here in a little bit. Now the first room we're going to do is our bedroom. It's going to be very simple with a place to read and write our adventures, a place to sleep, and also a place to keep our mithril armor. Stupid magical armor that hobbit should have died! Well someone can't let go of the past, sheesh. Why would you hang up berries and not eat them? No, no, those are like pictures of berries. It's, it's like a decoration. Well, that's... Let me guess. It's stupid. Hey, Gollum, I got a question. When's the last time you slept on a bed? We don't need a bed. We have a special rock back in our cave. You, you, you sleep on a rock? There's not even any moss or grass in there? 
to sleep on? Nothing? No. Rock is very good for the lower back. Huh. I didn't know that. I might actually have to give that a try. Hey, Gollum, Mithril. I'll hold it, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was really mean. It's just a joke. I, it, forgive me, forgive me. Now, as we move into the kitchen, we're going to first create the side entrance to our hobbit hole. Now, it's nothing special. It's just a tunnel straight through with a couple of doors on each side. Hey, 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 put my cat down. He is not a snack. No, we just wants to be friends with it. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Just, you know, just let's let's just leave him alone anyways. How about that? Wolves don't trust us? No, 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 uh, I didn't say that. I mean, he just, uh, he just doesn't like new people. He gets real nervous. What, what do you say we just, uh, keep on building? Okay, okay. <laughs> With our side entrance complete, we can go ahead and start the preparation area of our kitchen. Is this gonna be a chimney? You got too much smoke in the kitchen. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, actually, you are correct. This is where our chimney's gonna be. Oh, I want that! It looks delicious! Yeah, yeah, you're right. It does look delicious. That's a good-looking cake. But, I mean, it, it's fake, though. This is a video game. You can't actually eat it. Then why am I even here? You've given me no snacks! Wow, you're, you're absolutely right. I'm being a horrible host. Um, How about I get you some right after the video's done? Can we agree on that? As long as there's raw fish! Well, we... We might be out of that. Um, we don't pick up too much raw fish, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it a look. Fish, fish, I see fish right there. Again, just a video game. You cannot eat it. I hate these video games. Now, just for the entrance area, it's just going to be some simple decorations just to spruce it up a little bit. Nothing fancy. What is this room going to be? Well, if you were paying attention earlier, you would have known this will be our dining room. And I guess I can explain why we're not doing lanterns on the ceiling in here. On our dining room table that we're going to be placing here soon, we're going to have some candles. And I wanted the room to feel like it's being lit up by those candles. So as you can see right here, we're putting lanterns in the walls and then in the ground here in a little bit. And it's going to kind of make it look like the candles are the main source of light. You think you're so smart. 
No, not not smart per se. I, I think I'm creative. I mean, that's why people build in Minecraft. They want to use their creativity and, and come up with cool things like this. And that's that's why I do these videos to help people, you know, unleash their creativity. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's creative. Now we all know that hobbits love their ales and their meads, so why not place a couple of barrels of them inside the dining room? No one wants to walk too far to get their drinks, so I thought this was a pretty fun little addition. We're using magic again. That's a floating candle. Yeah, it, it floated for a second, but I mean, that's because it's the only way we could get it to stay there so we could place the pot and the, the, the plant underneath it so it looks like a candle holder. You get it? A candle holder. Nope, it's magic. And I don't love candles. Well, on that interesting note, we are finally done with the dining room. Now we can move on to the last two parts of our build, and that is the outside part of our side entrance and the chimney. This looks just like the front. What are you doing? You're, you're right. It does look like the front because basically it's just a mini version of that. And we're also going to do the same thing with our path here using the same blocks as we did in the front. You, you get it? Just a smaller version. With our side entrance done, we can go ahead and move on to our chimney. Now, I already figured out where this chimney comes up from down below, but if you're confused, just go down to where we place our smoker, dig straight up, and you'll find the hole that way. I remember I said you needed a chimney because of all the smoke in the kitchen. You absolutely did. You were right the whole time. Awesome job. Why is it crooked like that? I mean, I don't know. I, I just think straight up chimneys are kind of boring. I mean, this is fantasy. Let's give it a little character. And just like that, guys, our Hobbit Hole is finished. I'd like to give a huge thanks to our guest voice speaker, Gollum, for joining us today on this video. I never even wanted to build a stupid Hobbit Hole. I know, I know, and I am very sorry, but how about you let them know about subscribing and turning on the notifications so they can come back and see future videos? I don't even know what those are! Oh yeah, 
Yeah, I, I guess you wouldn't. Well, anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and thank you again, Gollum. And until next time, everybody, we'll both catch you later.